Hello, denizens. Welcome to my review of Sony's A7 IV, Sony's new God camera. Because we religiously watch YouTube camera reviews, we all know it's the equipment that makes you a great photographer or filmmaker. Not an innate sense of taste, years of experience, and hard work. That is why you need to get the latest equipment as soon as it comes out or your work will be worthless, including anything you shot in the past on older cameras. You will feel bad about yourself, and that is as it should be. If you don't have the latest gear, you should be ashamed. With that in mind, I have devised several special tests for this Sony a7 IV to see if it matches the hype. This is not a technical specifications video, or will I be doing in-depth, low-light ISO tests, in-body image stabilization, autofocus tests, or any of that nonsense. I'm going to test this new camera on the following criteria. One, I'm going to see if this Sony a7 IV will enhance a script I wrote. Two, then I will act in a scene and see if it can compensate for different levels of bad acting. Three, I will see if this Sony has a cinematographer mode. And finally, four, does it have a make successful production option? Because what's the point in spending all this money on gear if Sony can't guarantee that the final product will be successful and make you lots of money? Let's get on with the first test. I will read a script I have written to see if this expensive camera will make it better. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupider. You're stupider. -er. You're, stupid. You're 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 stupid. Next, I will act a famous scene from When Harry Met Sally, one of the best screenplays of all time. And let's see if the Sony improves my acting. I was sitting with my friend Arthur Kornblum in a restaurant. It was a horn and hard art cafeteria. And this beautiful girl walked in. And I turned to Arthur and I said, Arthur, you see that girl? I'm going to marry her. And two weeks later, we were married, and it's over 50 years later, and we're still married. I was sitting with my friend Arthur Kornblum in a restaurant. It was a horn and hard art cafeteria, and this beautiful girl walks in. And I turned to Arthur, and I said, Arthur, you see that girl? I'm going to marry her. And two weeks later, we were married, and it's over 50. Years later, and we're still married. I was sitting with my friend Otto Kornblum in a restaurant. It was a horn and hard art cafeteria, and this beautiful girl walked in. And I turned to Arthur and I said, Arthur, you see that girl? I'm going to marry her. And two weeks later, we were married, and it's over 50 years later, and we're still married. At the very least, it should be able to normalize the different performances. Now, can we dial in a great cinematographer setting? This shooting in log business is just plain silly in this age of digital filmmaking. Here's my shot. Okay. I should be able to just pick from Roger Deakins, Gilbert Taylor, Freddie Young, Jeffrey Unsworth, or, or Robert Yeoman, to name a few. I'm looking through the new touchscreen menu. Thank you, Sony. But no auto cinematographer setting. At the very least, I should have a background haze or fog option. How else will I be able to sell anything to Netflix? I don't like this focal length. Why isn't the Sony suggesting a more appropriate lens? I'm very disappointed. And finally, 
make production a massive success and make me lots of money feature. I will have to wait for this video to be done and edited and uploaded to YouTube and then wait and see. But I feel confident that the Sony a7 IV will deliver on this because why else would anyone replace something that works? Just because you've mastered the capabilities of your present camera, that's meaningless. Unless you can tell people you're using the one most YouTube camera reviewers say you should. When you're in the middle of a crucial project, people will be okay with your fumbling around with an unfamiliar camera as long as you tell them it's the Sony a7 IV. Till next time, denizens. Be seeing you.